from hot spots to hidden gems, it's your guide to all things LA, the unscripted way, from the Breakfast Club in Hollywood. And yes, I'm wearing my pajamas. And I want this one, and I want this one, and I want this one, and... Crave chicken and waffles around the clock, want to rise and shine with ricotta pancakes, or would love to savor a Beyond Sausage Sandwich as a late night snack. At the Breakfast Club on Vine, food fanatics can order traditional AM faves all day and night long. Sign me up. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon and this is my kind of club. But don't worry, you don't need to be a member, but you may need a reservation. Now, why the bright yellow dining room with birdcage seating is the new it place to be. Who knew? Oh my God, it's delicious. I am in heaven. I can't wait to introduce you guys to this place. You are going to love it. I'm Manuel and I am the general manager of The Breakfast Club. It's a celebration of breakfast food. We all enjoy breakfast the first meal of the day but sometimes we want to have it at nine o'clock at night mm -hmm. and that's an option. So if I wanted blueberry pancakes at nine o'clock at night, I could come here and get them? You could do that. And eggs? Yes, absolutely. Oh my God, and waffles and bacon and all of it? All of it. The fact that you guys have a wall of cereal blows my mind. What is the most popular cereal, by the way, so far? So far, far it's been Fruity Pebbles. <gasps> Not Lucky Charms? Not Lucky Charms. Oh! And then there's also like a bakery area I saw down there. Yes, so we have um, fresh baked croissants. We have a Nutella croissants. We have a guava and cream cheese croissant. And before you leave, you'll have to take one of our morning buns. I've never even heard of a Nutella croissant. My, is this the family this style? Is, this is the family style. <laughs> is this one serving? So our specialties are the chicken and waffles, which mm -hmm. is served in a family style platter, or we can do the individual. That is sweet and yummy and salty and sweet and mushy and delicious. Oh my God, I'm even licking my fingers. We also have a bagel tower that comes with locks, cucumbers, uh, all the fixings for bagels with um, three different kinds of bagels on the tower. In addition to that, we have an Eggs Benedict that's pretty traditional. We've got the blueberry ricotta pancakes. And then let's have a little bit of candied bacon. Let's have a little bit of Nutella. Mmm, it's so good. I want more. It's yummy. And the thing about this is when you hear the Breakfast Club, you think, okay, it's only gonna be open in the morning hours, but it's not. No, we're open till 11 at night. We do have a dinner menu that consists of some pasta dishes, a steak, two fresh fish every day. But if you want to do your egg program or you wanna do the avocado toast or the waffles, th those are available as well. The restaurant is very influencer friendly. We have a lot of color, great food, and we are trying to have a good time with it. Look how cute, they even have little egg salt and pepper shakers. All right, well, are you guys BFFs of friends? Well, question for you, what is Joey's go-to cereal? Captain Crunch, but ouch, doesn't it always rip the roof of your mouth? Okay, well, super fans, listen up, because Jasmine Simpkins says the Warner Brothers studio tour is an unscripted must, and SoCal residents even get a few bucks off when booking online. All right, Unscripters, I don't know if you know, but I am a huge Friends fan. So today I had to come over to the Warner Brothers lot and check out the WB Studios tour, specifically the new Friends Boutique. Well, the studio tour officially has been around since about 1972, but Jack Warner actually did tours from his office back as early as the 50s and the 40s because he loved showing off this campus. We were closed for 15 months, so we want all the locals to come through to see it. We're the, the, the gym that you don't know is here. Oh my God, I'm extremely excited. I'm actually here on stage 48 on the set of Friends. Do you guys see this? Could I be any more excited? This is the real set from the show. So if you saw the Friends reunion on HBO Max, they were sitting on this couch. This entire set was taken back to stage 24, which is where they shot nine out of 10 seasons of their shows. Actual background extras cast were sitting on these, these couches, guys. Absolutely. Joey, Chandler, Ross, Phoebe, Rachel, Monica. 
What were you thinking? Smelly cat, smelly, smelly, smelly cat. Guys, I hate that I have to go, but there's so much more to see, so let's go. We created a friend's boutique in that similar area where you can actually have lunch in Joey and Chandler's apartment. You can have lunch in Monica's apartment. You can sit and play foosball if you want with your family and friends. Yeah. So that's the real fountain from the opening credits of the show. Oh my god! Nice photo op set up with the couch. Friends shot all over our lot. So yeah. just on the other side of the fountain is where Ross played rugby and turns into Red Ross. We're right in the middle of Central Park right here where Rachel and Phoebe went running. You know, you got Phoebe kind of running like a and maniac. And she runs into and the runs. horse. So, so much stuff for Friends fans just in this one small little location. Oh my gosh, guys. You have to come and experience this. And speaking of friends, remember how Joey doesn't share his food? Well, that's exactly how I feel about my cereal. You get your hand slapped reaching for the last four of my Lucky Charms, and don't you dare try to steal a marshmallow. All right, we have more for your local LA to-do list coming up. 80s and 90s icon Corey Feldman stopped by for a very special breakfast chat, and Carmen Electra's spilling skincare secrets when LA Unscripted from The Breakfast Club is back before you can finish your first bowl. Okay, did you know the average person eats over 100 pounds of cereal a year? That means I probably have 200 pounds of Lucky Charms each year. And now that Hollywood's Breakfast Club is open Monday through Sunday from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., I bet that number goes way up. Welcome back to LA Unscripted, everyone. It's your guide to all things good. I'm Dana Devon, and since it's opening, celebs are hungry to join the Breakfast Club. Tell me, you've had a lot of celebrities come in here. We have, but we've had um, a, a screening for Jojo Siwa. Okay. Which was really lots of fun. We also had Sofia Vergara. She came to our uh, opening party. What did she eat? She had uh, waffles. Yes, that's yeah. my girl. Yeah. We also have had Tina Knowles, who I guess lives in the neighborhood. So okay. she stops by. And so it's been a fun crowd. And look who stopped by for a bowl. SoCal native actor and musician Corey Feldman. Corey, were you, do you like cereal? Are you a cereal lover? I'm not only a cereal lover, I am a cereal killer, ah. okay? Because I come down <laughs> They're stairs, even laughing over there. I eat my cereal in the middle of the night, okay. I sneak it in, I like all the flavors, I'm a big cereal advocate. You and me both, and we're gonna have some cereal in a second, but you know, Gremlins, The Goonies, Stand By Me, The Lost Boys, I could go on and on. And now, Corey's gonna be dishing on where fans are most likely to have a Feldman spotting. Here's what he's serving up. Hi! Hey, hi! Oh my God, long time to see you! How have you been? I've been great, I've been great. I've been working so hard. I've been locked away in my cave, creating this new work. Right. It's an amazing amount of work. The biggest project that I've ever put out. So you were able to use the pandemic to write music and Absolutely. create? Absolutely. I've actually been creating music for 35 years. Not only that, but I actually started singing before I started acting. Interesting. And a lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that. It's open up your life, you can't on the street. This is a big package, so we've got the EP, we've got the brand new box set, and we've got the brand new album. There's a song that my son helped me write. It's his very first outing as a songwriter, and he helped me write a song about the pandemic, about the lockdown. This is the EP. This okay. is an eight-song EP, which is a picture disc. Love the art on this, by the way. Isn't it beautiful? Way. It's all yes. done by this artist named Howard Tiemann, who's a local Los Angeles artist. Okay. Who's been with me since the early 90s. Okay. This is amazing. What is this? So this is the Love Left 2.1 box set. Okay. This is the full deal. So on the EP, you're only getting samples. You're getting two songs from each disc. Mm -hmm. This contains six discs along with many other goodies and many other surprises. So the six discs are four CDs, two DVDs. Then there's also a outtakes unreleased CD, which has got 19 songs that have previously never been heard by anyone and never released before, including a duet with Alfonso Ribeiro, <gasps> who was very close with me during, yes. the, during the 80s and early 90s. Then there's a documentary 
as part of the DVDs, as I was saying, it's called Corey Feldman, Artist, Man Behind the Love. There's rare photographs, rare video footage, stuff that's never been released, including footage with like me and Michael Jackson. We are the first to launch and pioneer this brand new technology, which is Hologram Corey. When you open up your box, you take your phone, you get the little QR code, put the camera up on your phone, and you put it up to the QR code, and suddenly a hologram of me pops up. Here. Where can people get this? Okay, so you can order it directly at my website, which is coreyfeldman.net. Okay, everybody, we all know I'm a big cereal lover. I know my cereals. But the question is, Dana, do you know your cereals? I know my cereals. Oh, you think so? Yeah, okay. I'll spoon feed you okay. the cereal. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Which one have we got? Put it in eating one. Yeah. Here's Cookie Crisp. Something a little more difficult. Get that out of your mouth. We don't want to blend the taste together. All right, there you go. What do you think? Mmm, that's good. That's good. So what is it, though? I think it's Fruity Pebbles. You're so good. Yeah. Oh, that's two out of two. What's it going to be? Oh, that's good. What is it? That's a classic. Classic Cinnamon what? Toast Crunch. Oh, wow. Cool. You are really good at this. I know. I oh, love my it God. So I was going to say Golden Grams. This is the... Oh. You got three out of three. Dana Dude. is an aficionado of cereal. Why didn't you give me the Lucky Charms, oh, Corey? I didn't know. God. I didn't know. Oh, my gosh. I what does a girl you... have to do what? to get her Lucky Charms around here? Before you run away, we've got one more thing for you. Speaking of runaway. Speaking of runaway, that happens to be my first ever music video which is part of my box set. I shot it when I was 15 years old, and it's running right now exclusively on my YouTube channel so everybody can see it for free. Corey, thank you so much. God bless you, Dana. Well, you can't have the perfect bowl of cereal without a fresh, cold splash of milk, am I right? So today, we're uncapping a couple of other delicious milk dishes here at SoCal's Violet Bistro with Chef Jesse Brun Haran. I'll see you in a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, <laughs> you let me know how it goes. See you later. <laughs> What's really cool and unique about Violet itself is that it's a bistro downstairs, and upstairs it's a cooking school. These are actually two traditional French dishes. We have mac and cheese, we call it le mac attack here, and we have uh, poached pears and creme anglaise. And both of these use whole milk as a base ingredient for both of these dishes. Okay, should we try this guy? Yeah, absolutely. Slice her up. This is kind of a big bite, you guys. I'm sorry, this is gonna be awkward. I know, maybe I should cut it in half for you. Uh -uh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef. This is delicious. It's my pleasure. Nice. Allison, we just learned how to make two awesome dishes with milk. And funny enough, it's National Milk Day, right? It is, it is upon us. And there's now a just launched campaign in California called Recycle the Jug. And it's about making everyone more aware of how easy it is to recycle gallon milk jugs. It's really the simplest thing, like these Altadena milk jugs. Here's just once you're done, rinse it, cap it, thin it. Which is, you could say, it's like my mantra. <laughs> Pour it, cap it, thin it. I feel like we could come up with like a little song. Like, like, that. like that little bop it thing. We want less plastics in landfills. Newest innovations include, well, it could actually be recycled into another gallon milk jug, which everyone loves, you're drinking more milk or it can be made into kids' toys. It could be made into like maybe that new outdoor lawn furniture that you just bought and you're enjoying a little fire pit action with your friends and a glass of wine. It is one of the most widely accepted recyclable products that you can put in for plastic. So really, simply rinse it, cap it, and toss it in a recycling bin. There you go. Um, should we show people how easy it is uh, yeah, to do? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Allison, at LA Unscripted, we don't recycle normally. Mm. We recycle competitively. Yeah. First one in gets to take home the mac and cheese. Oh, I'm taking you down. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Is this the last chance we get? Okay. No pressure. Okay, okay, okay. No pressure. <gasps> <gasps> Oh dee, 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 okay. dee. By the way, regular recycling is much easier. Yeah, definitely. 
and we have more reasons to get out and safely explore our city. Coming up, get groovy in Glendale. Local DJ wannabes sign up for Scratch School. Plus, where to find Carmen Electra's cruelty-free vegan beauty line when LA Unscripted from the Breakfast Club on Vine comes right back before your cereal gets soggy. recently opened Breakfast Club is serving more than just bacon and eggs on their all-day menu. There are way more things than just breakfast, like a very banging happy hour. Dave is going to walk us through some of the items you have. Absolutely. What are we making? So we're going to start with our Everything Gimlet. So the Everything Bagel Gimlet has gin in it. Okay. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> sorry. Oh my God, so sorry. So sorry, Dave. A little bit of lime juice. All right. And then some bit simple, of syrup. simple syrup. Okay. I'm gonna throw some ice in here. Okay. Let's not water it down too much. Right. I'm gonna add just a hair of everything bagel bitters. Oh, everything bagel bitters. Amazing. Yes. Okay. Made just for us. Amazing. And I'm gonna try it, making sure I get the everything but the bagel seasoning on it. So. Oh, that's delicious. That is so refreshing. And you know, there are also plenty of non-alcoholic spirits here to lift your spirits, plus some vegan options. And speaking of vegans, Liberty Chan now zooms in with timeless beauty Carmen Electra to find where to go to get her go-go skincare line. First off, you're beautiful and you have an age, so Clearly, you know the secret. Thank you. I've always thought I, I, I really want a skincare line that represents what I've learned over the years and what I love. I was contacted by a friend who said, do you want to do a workout video? And I said, no, I, I have aerobic striptease. It was very successful. I'm happy with that. And he said, well, what do you want to do? And I said, I, I've just been thinking about skincare a lot. And so he connected me with the best dermatologist and the best team to create GoGo -Go Skin. And it's been an ongoing process and now it's finally available. And I'm just, I'm really proud of it. I'm, I'm, this is my dream. I love that so much. The packaging is beautiful. It was all about nature. It was, for me, that color is so, it's such a beautiful turquoise blue and the gold is very meaningful to me. I love it. It's so beautiful. It makes me happy. So I'm very, very proud of that. And I'm very proud that that I have such a great team to help me create what I love and share that with the world. Carmen says the GoGo -Go packaging reminds her of the ocean. And speaking of, did you know California has 840 miles of shoreline? So get out and explore it unscripted style. And what is your road trip jam? If you like dropping funky beats, now we're revealing the Burbank address that creates local spin doctors. We're for the Let's go. Yeah, anyone can learn how to DJ, and we provide everything. <laughs> Peace y'all, DJ Babu, Be Junkie Crew. Revealing to y'all where we build better DJs right here at the Beat Junkie Institute of Sound, y'all. We've had students as old as 50 plus. We take them all colors, shapes, sizes, creeds. We want to teach everybody the art of DJing, and uh, it's been amazing. All right, listen, pick up the pace a little bit. I am the dean of students. What'd you say? I've been doing radio pretty much almost like 20 years. Um, I was at Power 106 from 95 until 2006. 17 years teaching and DJing for 34 years. Woo! All right, here we go, Greg. You know, when I started, I was in high school. I was just your average kid. I wasn't a very good athlete. Uh, you know, I wasn't the, the smartest, but you know, with, with DJing, it really gave me my identity. 
Most people probably know me for my affiliation with my rap group, Dilated Peoples. I spent the majority of the late 90s and the, two, the early 2000s touring the world, making music. All the while in the background, I was always affiliated with my DJ crew, the Beach Junkies. We get students from all walks of life, um, no matter what type of profession they're in. The people have always been curious about the art of DJing. I've always noticed that women, ladies, always um, learn a lot faster because they're not scared to move to the music as they're learning. Jada, here we go. <laughs> So it's a boys club with DJing. It makes me really happy to see that the girls are coming in and stepping into this type of art form um, and really being good at it. Watch this. My name is Marisol Sison and I am the founder of Ladies of Sound, the official women's division of the Beat Junkie Institute of Sound. We have a, a program called Intro to DJing, which is an eight-week program where you come in and learn just basic music theory, basic scratches, basic mixing. We have another um, program called Foundation, and that can run from anywhere from eight to ten months. And we combine what we learned growing up on vinyl, digging through the crates. And about halfway through the program, they're able to bring in their laptops. You know, we keep one foot in the past, but we also keep one foot in the future. I always tell my students this, you know, we don't promise you that you're all going to become professional DJs, but we promise you that you will be a part of this DJ culture for the rest of your life and be in love with it. Okay, joke for you. Do you know how Reese likes to eat her cereal with a spoon? <laughs> all right, now this jam is over. Thank you so much to The Breakfast Club for letting us go off script here. Where will we pop up next? You never know, but you do know it'll be good just like these fruity pebbles. <laughs>